New Mexico, the land of enchantment. Here is the latest weather synopsis. The winter storm will continue to diminish this evening with showers turning lighter and more sparse through the overnight. <laughs> Cold temperatures are expected tonight, and while daytime highs will be slightly warmer on Wednesday, readings will still fall short of normal by 10 to 20 degrees. Otherwise, mostly dry conditions are expected Wednesday with just a few remnants like snow showers going on. With the winds from the night before, and knowing what we were about to get hit by the next day, left a daunting feeling in the back of our minds. This was a crazy one. I'ma just start off and say the terrain was whack. It pretty much just snowed on us the entire time. Water was whack. My sleeping bag was whack. The Valley of Fires. It's, uh, it's an interesting place. It was actually my third time out there. Pretty much everything was whack. I stepped on a crack and my foot went in and that was whack. Uh, I tried to make it to the Little Black Peak twice already. And uh, it's just, it's hard. It's a lot harder than it sounds. People think it's easy because there's no elevation, but once you're out there in the rocks, I think Francisco and Wesley definitely caught a glimpse of uh, the difficulty out there. I think it's gonna be pretty rough, man. You could feel it on your feet, like on your shoes. Yeah. You could definitely feel the terrain. It, there was a crevice that was like 10 feet deep, 10, 15 maybe. And we had to go around, right around the edge. It was so deep, they call it a crevasse. Really? Yeah. No. I done. thought just, that was just like the water. <laughs> I thought it was crevasse water. Now we're in the fields. And we should hike this winter wonderland. Hey, Francisco. Yo. Were you expecting this snow? I wasn't. <laughs> How does it make you feel? Um, pretty relaxed. I like the temperature change. The only thing I don't like is like the flurries in the eyes but we can get to that. At one point of the beginning of the trip, Wesley's legs were soaked. We feared the worst, that his bladder exploded inside of his pack. But luckily, that wasn't the case. We'll call this trip Wesley having to open his pack. The water we were carrying must have got poked by a cactus or something because Wesley's was leaking, then Francisco's was leaking, so we're, we almost lost two gallons of water before we even hit that first night. If you watch closely, you'll actually see one of the gallons of waters that were lost. And if you listen, you can hear it pop against the ground. In slow motion, you actually see the water explode. Now watch as he picks it back up. 
all the content leaks out. So far, we're probably going to make quite a bit of mileage today. Um, yeah, because it's flat land. We're not hiking in the lava rocks just yet because it's a little rough. Where we cut in was very difficult. It was snowing. It was hard to kind of see where we were stepping, like what was safe and what was not. And uh, we didn't bring tents because tents would get destroyed out there. All we had were tarps. And uh, there was nowhere, we couldn't find any kind of like cave or shelter or anything out there. And it was starting to get hectic because the sun was disappearing, it was getting cold, it was still snowing on us. Alright, so we just finished our lunch and uh, we can see the volcano. So we're going to start hiking that way and then we're going to start cutting into the the volcanic field and hopefully find a good a good like overhang to camp in set up camp this is wesley getting ready to put on back up. the faces i'm making are for the ladies <laughs> this ninja ninja francisco <laughs> the faces he's making it's for the ladies it's cold <laughs> around and I'm starting to freak out because everywhere I look it's just cracks and no caves and you're out there and like with the wind and the snow I was like there's no way we're gonna make it out here as a blue burrito we're gonna die we're gonna freeze to death so I, I was starting to actually kind of feel stressed out because I was like was, was, is there a cave no and we're just going and we got some of that nature magic and once again the cave popped up at just the right time because it was getting dark already we probably had about we if we wouldn't have got there at that time we would have been collecting firewood in the dark at one point i found like a little opening and uh, uh wesley came up uh, around where i was at and i pointed it out and uh we kind of came to the same conclusion they've got no choice there's no choice we have to find shelter and we had to make that work and getting down to it was difficult I mean, you'll see, getting down, once we, once we were in the cave, it felt a lot better. Is this our home? Hell yeah, this is our home for the night. We gotta chop out some growth. I'm gonna start cutting this bush and Francisco is gonna pull it out. So I have some room. You ready? cave a little lava lava cave damn dude we can all say that we slept in a lava cave <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>